Now, members of the board of East African Portland Cement say the company requires only 15 million shillings to help it get back to its feet. Some of the company's functions were put on a break where claims were also raised on some employers are fired and delayed salaries of some of the staff members as well. Cement manufacturers in Kenya have bought the brand of a tough election period, coupled with a slowdown in real estate mainly linked to drop in credit uptake in the country. This has led to low profits. Despite a tough operating environment, manufacturers are also sagging under a burden of stiff competition from cheap imports. Facing very hard times because the construction industry is going through a testing period. And we are not exempted from that. East Africa Portland Cement has not been spared. The cement farm whose woes date back to 10 years ago is facing liquidity challenges, which could just affect operations. The company plans to sell prime prices of land to raise additional capital to inject into the business. What we do is we exploit the land. The whole reason is to acquire the raw materials we need for our production of cement. From the sale of land, the company expects to raise 15 million shillings, which will temporarily ease pressure to the farm's creditors. Although the 15 million shillings is a step in the right direction, the company still will be staring at a huge deficit. The company plans to clear its debt at KCB Bank of 4.5 billion shillings, 3.5 billion to its creditors, and 2 billion will be used to refurbish the plant. We have a plant that was last uh, refurbished in 1996. 1996. It has not been refurbished per se. We, we need to refurbish that. We need to, uh, to, to install the greater cooler ref retrofit that will help us to modernize the, the, the operations with the, of, of that particular plan so that we move from the current 50% capacity that we have at the moment to the full pass, uh, uh, capacity as far as operations are concerned. It is hoped the company will place a lead on its growing cost through the recapitalization plan event as the company plans to negotiate with the court to delay some of the cases as it reorganizes itself. Well, 15 million shillings is what the company needs to get back to its feet, meaning all hope is not lost yet for EPC. Julie Owino, KTN News.